You see, your eyes are a bit hazy, so may I clean them? Thank you. I'm Dr. Luna. I'm the diagnostician here at the walk-in clinic. Just sit still. We're going to take care of you today and find out what appears to be the problem. hearing test. Can you hear this? Good. And what about this? How about this? And what about this? And here. Good. Very good. No hearing problems at all. I felt no swelling behind the back of the ears. We're going to check your pulse now and your breathing habits. So I'm going to use my stethoscope. Apologize if it's a bit cold. Going to warm that up a bit. Now, I'm going to place this on the chest. And I would like you to breathe normally as you are now, okay? I'm going to be listening to your breathing. Breathe in and very 
fast paced beat to the heart tachycardia yes very very fast paced tachycardia and here and that's okay. I just want you to feel safe. Turkey can't be had this when you had to get It's a lubricant solution for the eyes and especially after feeling very tired it can help make you feel a bit more comfortable yeah so what we're going to do is I'm going to be looking at your eyes for proper dialysis and I'm going to be looking for Do you feel 
any pressure on the back of your eyes. Wonderful. That is good news. Now, I'm going to be doing a very thorough full body exam where we're going to be testing reflexes and just generally checking around to see if we find any hidden symptoms, okay? Yes. Did you notice anything in the mirror a couple of days ago or perhaps yesterday? Swelling around the neck. Okay, I will assess that first. Going to be feeling around your sinuses, your face, and then an assessment of the thyroid gland. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to touch the face very carefully. Okay, any sinus pressure? No. Wonderful. Perfect. Going to the bottom of the chin and then to the thyroids. And I do see you're wearing a turtleneck. May I roll that down a bit? Thank you. Just going to carefully roll that down. Okay, and yes, I do see some swelling of the thyroid of the neck and Typically, we actually consider this a goiter. That is when the thyroid is very inflamed. So, I'm going to put pressure around it. You let me know if you feel any pain. Okay. Good. So, just going to take a look here. Yeah. Are you feeling any pain, dear? Okay. I'm very glad this doesn't hurt you. It can appear to be a bit not the best looking, but I'm glad it does not hurt you. So, diagnostic wise, so far I'm assessing that this could have been painless thyroiditis. I was thinking it could be Graves' disease, but I do not see swelling around the eyes. We'll have to see your blood work. Okay. Um going to ask you, may I just take the shirt and put it just to the shoulders? I'm going to check and assess around your shoulders now. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put pressure on your shoulders. Um, to breathe in very deep and breathe out. And did you get a bit lighter? I didn't see from that. Yes. Okay. Now, if it's possible, could you carefully lift your shirt up to your stomach? Thank you. And I'm just going to be testing reflexes around the stomach and putting pressure, typically around the spleen and around the parts of your stomach. Okay. So, very carefully going to be applying pressure here. Any pain? Nope. Any pain? Nope. Any signs of pain? No, very good. Um, any signs of pain? Very good. Okay. Can you hold your hands up for me? Thank you. I'm just going to grab your arm and take a look. your hands are trembling, your fingers are trembling a bit, is that normal? Are you cold? No? Okay. And I would like it if you could squeeze my hand as tight as you can. Okay. So, your hands are trembling a bit. I'm going to check the other one now. Please give me your hand. Looking for bruising or assessment around the arms as well. Okay, and can you squeeze my hand as possible, as hard as possible? Perfect. 
Okay. So trembling of the hands. I have a question for you. Your clothing appears to be a bit big for you. Have you been experiencing some weight loss because of a diet change or working out? No. Okay. So have you been eating normally? Okay. So you've been eating the same, but you are losing weight. Okay, so signs pointing towards Graves' disease are increasing. Okay, I'm going to now check your legs. If you could just pop a leg up for me on the exam table. Okay. And are you feeling any pain around your joints? No. Okay, so very carefully going to look here. And could you put your knee for me? Thank you. Okay, and the foot look fine. Please pop the other leg up. Thank you. So, bend the knee. Thank you. And the foot looks fine. Perfect. I'm now going to test some reflexes and my computer just informed me as well that your CT scans and blood work have been sent in and we're going to assess and find out what you have, I promise you'll be fine. I'm thinking it might be thyroiditis, but we'll see for sure. We're going to do something called reflexology now. It's a test of the cranial nerve and to see if your reflexes are working fine. So, we're going to be using this. Just going to hit it along the parts of your body that should have reflexes, okay? Good. The first one is right on top of the brow. I'm just going to tap it on my finger to see if your eyes have a natural reflex. So, right here. to the knee, we're just going to test it out, so Okay, reflex of the foot, go to the other side Very good Reflexes to the foot are good as well Neurologically, I'd say that you are fine I'm going to quickly check your blood results so yeah, checking my computer for your blood work and CT scans. Just going to quickly look for the scan to your thyroid, to your throat, and I do see that yeah, there is an uptake of iodine that has increased. That shows swelling around the thyroid, um, which is what we see. So 
abnormal thyroid uptake, swelling, looking at your blood work. Your blood work is showing normal, normal, normal. Low levels of T, SH, high FT3, and high FT4. So, I'm thinking that painless thyroidism could not be it. I'm thinking it's also not Graves' disease, so not hyperthyroidism, but I think it's Plummer's disease, which is toxic modulation goiter. It's a toxic modulation goiter. To completely assess this, I'm just going to feel around. recently. Not until yesterday. Okay. I'm going to put my hands to the bottom of the chin and I'm going to just push up to the bottom of the chin. And could you please flex your chin as hard as possible? Okay, lack of ability to do so, causing a neurologic change. Okay. And now can you swallow for me? Okay, so difficulty swallowing as well. This is all proving towards that. Now that I know what it is though, I'm going to take very good care of you and see what we can do. Your recovery will be very quick and you will feel better soon, I promise. Mm hmm For now, I'm going to actually give you some drops for the throat. This is drops to keep the mouth a bit numb, especially due to the pain from swallowing. So, This one for the drowsiness. This one actually tastes very similar to apple cider. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. Perfect. Thank you for that. So now. with another doctor to make sure that it's the correct form of what I think it is. 
We are also going to then send you into treatment as soon as we can, okay? I'm going to send a nurse and to bring you a couple more pillows and a blanket. And I do hope that you recover very soon, okay? Yes, I will be here along the way. Lovely. Well now, relax yourself for a bit and you will get better very soon. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. So, plumber's disease has been assessed. Toxic nodulate goiter. Perfect. Okay. 